Hello everyone, Shrop here, and it's been a while, I could say that. Uh, I've been really busy with end of year projects and stuff, so it's been handed in today. Now I can make videos again. Hooray! So, uh, let's kick this off. Um, Jeb just released a kind of download of the client, uh, his, what he's changed. And one of the things he's changed is the way Wirelink updates. So now, um, this wire here is 15 blocks long and I've got a repeater at the end. So when I place this torch here, that repeater will power none of the other ones will. I place the torch here, that repeater powers. I place another one here, that repeater powers. But here's the catch. Oh. Oh no. Uh, so, I'm going to break these ones here and that one updates. But, I place it like that, it doesn't update and then I can continue down. And End ones don't update. So this annoys me because I would have been really happy if we could have like infinitely wide busing that's twice as small as it would have been if we'd used this method here. Hello slime. So this this here is rather large. And now there are a few things that I'm happy about, and one of them is touch paint. So as you can see here, touch paint. And now when I jump on this, you can actually walk around and see your pixel update. Because the wire length decoders under there now pick up the position. Now I'm actually standing on two pressure plate, plates, but let's walk around to up to here and so see our position. Yay! So, uh, me and Redstone Warrior are happy that this here now works fully as it should. So, yeah, that's a few of the happy things in this update. Uh, I haven't covered half of the things that he's actually updated with Redstone. Most of it's just um, actually, I'll, I'll try and replicate what was happening. So, um, I, I believe it was like the other way around. Um, sometimes you'd update this wire and turn it off, and the repeater would stay powered. But or if you remove the block, it's fixed. All right, so that, that's handy. Um, and yeah, that's basically covering most of the updates. Oh, no, and I, I found these here to be pretty freaking awesome. Look at this! It's a egg, which a villager comes out of. You do my bidding. Not that you can get them to use touch paint. By the way, you can stop watching the video now. It's pretty pointless watching it at this point. But still, we have, oh, we have a villager control touch paint. Let's control me with it. Yay! Happy villagers like painting on touch pads. Oh well, <laughs> thanks for watching. Um, and yeah, finding there's a way to spawn ender dragons. Goodbye.